Delegate Joe Lindsay has been in the Virginia General Assembly since 2014, representing Norfolk and Virginia Beach in the 90th District. Well, this year he will step down to serve Hampton Roads in another way. Recently, 10 on your side's Andy Fox sat down with him about his next chapter. When Joe Lindsay left the House of Delegates, he was serving as chairman of the Privileges and Elections Committee, and he had a lot to do with how the elections played out this year. I was also proud of, of the opportunity to make voting easier. Thanks in part to Joe Lindsay as chair of the Privileges and Elections Committee, the General Assembly passed a new law permitting no excuse early voting. No excuse early voting was very important. And, and this election has proven that to be true. No excuse early voting worked in Virginia, one of 38 states in Washington, D.C., to allow it. Nationally and internationally, that if you afford people an opportunity, an, e an easier an opportunity to vote, they'll do just that. Millions took the opportunity. Roughly 61% of total votes cast occurred before election day. We advocated for a drop box. We made it so that, so that we had no excuse early voting. We made it easier for people to do voting by mail and not have the draconian rules of having to go and get uh, your, your, their signatures uh, witnessed. In Virginia, 74.6% voter turnout. That's over 4.4 million votes, a modern day high. I've always wanted there to be access to the voter you know, boxes. I wanted there to get rid of the suppressionist uh, activities that kept persons from being able to vote. Lindsay worked to get more funding for voter registrar's office. We did something that, that hadn't been done before. We made sure the funding was there to help the registrars transition to the 21st century. Making election day a state holiday, Lindsay made it easier to vote, not harder, which is voter suppression. There are political reasons why certain factions of, you know, in power wanted to make it difficult because they realized that by making it more difficult, there was a greater likelihood that they would preserve their, their political, uh, their political fiefdoms. As a delegate, Joe Lindsay assumed office in 2014 and officially resigned this week to become a judge. Coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 to 530, how what happened at this Norfolk intersection changed everything that would come later in Joe Lindsay's life. In Norfolk, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.